Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer, and I'm back once again after so short a period of time. Uh, we're back playing Rule the Waves 3 now. We've moved on to playing Rule the Waves 3. Uh, we are in the midst, as you might remember, of a war. We're playing as Italy. It is October 1893, so we're uh, three years into the game, roughly, uh, and uh, we're in the midst of a war against the French. Uh, we're also nearly at war with the Austria Hunger Austria with Austria Hungary. Uh, but our war against the French is kind of a mixed bag here. You can see the enemy is winning in terms of victory points, 23,000 to 19,000. Um, but in terms of actual strength, the French only have one battleship left. We have five. They have seven armored cruisers left. We have nine. They do have 22 light cruisers to our 10. Uh, and we have six corvettes to their 15. So overall, the fleet of the French has been bled pretty heavily. If we take a look here at ships sunk, you can see the French have lost 10 battleships in combat so far. Um, and then they have lost seven armored cruisers and three lights and a corvette. Italy, on the other hand, has lost three battleships. So what, 10 to three and four armored cruisers and five light cruisers. So overall, in terms of casualties, we've definitely had the edge. The French had been able to blockade us for a while at the start of the conflict, uh, which was kind of a major reason that they have these victory points uh, advantages. Uh, but overall, it feels like things are turning in our favor. Unrest is a little bit higher than I would like in, uh, in Italy. If you get to 10, you run the risk of a revolution. Uh, but at the moment, we are not blockaded. We are at war for 18 months now, a little bit over or exactly a year and a half. And uh, that's where we find ourselves. Our budget is not in great shape. We're in the red, negative 800. I like to say 800K. We have 3.6 or 3.6 million is how I like to think of it, even though these are in thousands in the bank. Uh, so at current spending, we could maintain our, our spending for the next four months the way things are. We have a fair amount of ships that are being constructed Although a lot of them are on pause for the moment. I can't afford to build everything I want to build right now. Italy is not an economic jugg juggernaut. So I've sort of been juggling some of these ships on halt or not and whatnot. Which I guess maybe we should just try and race out a couple of ships at a time rather than trying to get everything to flood the, flood the front all at the same time. Uh, but that's where we find ourselves right now. We haven't done a lot in terms of research yet. We've been trying, uh, but we haven't actually invented much yet we've invented one level of uh, machinery one level of armor one level of hull fire control uh turrets and then uh, ship design has advanced by one nothing else really has we did get slightly better nine inch guns but that doesn't really matter because i don't think i have any ships that use nine inch guns and that's where we find ourselves today uh, we're going to go ahead and jump forward to the next turn i assume we're going to fight some battles here because uh, I don't have any money to build any more ships right now, and I don't need to do exercises because my ships are all pretty well worked up. In fact, you can see the crew quality. A lot of these guys are elite because they've been in, at war for a while. Some of them are not elite. Some of them are good. Uh, the crews that are fair are the THG class, which are newer ships, but at least they're no longer rookies because they have all fought at least one battle so far. Uh, but yeah, let's see what the next day has in store. We actually, real quick, we should do... Division editor, most of our battleships that were in divisions were sunk, right? So the Cayo Dulio, uh, let's switch this to, or let's switch this guy to, let's assign him to a division, Second division, because they're both of the same class. I always like keeping ships in the same class in a division together. And then we'll put the THG class in the first division. Because they're they're the newest ships, right? So we want to keep them keep them together. Uh the Umberto class, I don't want to put the coyote with the Coyote Duo Leo's division because if we do, there are different speeds. These guys are slower, so they'll hold the whole division back. In theory, because these ships, the THGs and the Kyos, all have the same speed, we could put them together. Um, I don't know if there's a, a penalty because they're different shell calibers. Like if you're in a division when you have mismatching shell calibers, does that affect spotting? I don't know if things are that advanced. 
Uh, but uh, for the moment, I think that's all I need to do, right? Uh, if we go to division editor, who's the commander again? Fleet flag is the first division of Rear Admiral Caramanti. Second division follows the fleet flag with Rear Admiral Martini. He's timid. Feels like we should replace him, right? Well, I don't know that I want to, I don't want to play prestige, so we won't do anything with that. Our prestige is 24, which is decent. Um, we might want to expand our dockyards, but for the moment I need all the money I can on building ships. So I guess let's just move forward to the next turn. All right, so we got a battleship engagement right off the bat here off the coast of Sardinia. Uh, the only the enemy only has one battleship left, so I guess we'll see what happens. They've got one battleship left. It looks like it's only one of our two battleship divisions of the Cayo Dulio class. Uh, as a reminder, if we take a look here, the Cayo Dulio has four 13 inch guns with eight sixes and 16 twelves or twos. Uh, this roll, you should be core. You should be the lead. You guys are set to screen. That's right. You guys should not be set to scout. The armored cruiser should be set to core. I don't know why it's set to screen. I don't I don't like that. I guess it's kind of using them like battle cruisers, but I, I don't I don't really like that. Set it to line ahead. And then AI control. So they'll they'll fall back into formation behind these battleships. Battleships are going to turn south toward the unidentified ships, which the enemy may try and run. And then let's get these guys up toward max speed. Like cruisers, max minus two also heading down this way. Slow speed and go. The French ships do have a speed advantage against us generally. Most of their ships are considerably faster than ours. So we're going to be a little bit more hands-off in this battle where I'm letting the AI do a lot of the work. I'm assuming, hey, I'm the fleet commander, so I, I'm not going to micromanage all my ships. We'll let those armored cruisers slot in behind us. It does look like it's cloudy, and it is in the afternoon, so visibility is not great. You can see the sun starting to set, and so we lost sight of some of these enemy ships, which means we'll probably get in pretty damn close with the enemy before we spot them again, which always runs the risk of torpedoes. So you can see we're actually like right in here. So let's pull the line of battle hard over. And uh, the battle is underway. Our light cruisers are like right in amongst these enemy ships. I am kind of microing the light cruisers at least. So the question is, do we want to send our own battleships in to the heart of the enemy fleet to try and do some real damage, or do we just want to not do that? Because in a nighttime battle, there's not a lot, I don't think anyway, you can do to avoid the risk of enemy torpedoes. Let's try and close on that battleship. Okay, you can see quite a bit of firing going on, some hits being scored. We're going to try and cut off this battleship up here. That's the real prize from a victory point perspective is the enemy battleship. The armored cruisers are trailing our own battleships. The Henry looks to be aflame. You can see she's a she's a fire. She's making 15 knots. I mean, like, cruisers off to the south. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has an old-school vibe from a, from a graphics and visuals perspective. That is certainly true, J Street. But I like it, you know? I, I'm also a big 
out of the park baseball fan, which didn't start looking modern until somewhat recently. So All right, let's also do this. Let's pause. I think I'm hoping my, my armored, my battle cruise ships can take care of the enemy battleship by themselves. Going to take this armored cruiser task force out of command, out of AI command and try and cut off whatever this enemy force is back here. Go back this way and engage. Light cruisers, you guys should be firing torpedoes. I don't know why you're not. 4% damage. 16. All right, so those armored cruisers are no longer in my control because they're out of my line of sight, which means they're doing their own thing, which apparently means sailing away from the battle. Just what I wanted. Now they're turning back to catch up, I guess. Now technology is so bad in this era that gunfire is very ineffective. It takes a lot to successfully destroy enemy ships. Right, that's an enemy armored cruiser. I'd be glad if my four armored cruisers ganged up on it and destroyed it. Did they get its rudder? It appears to be going in circles. They're still out of line of sight with me, though. It's on fire, but it still says light damage. So this is probably all we will find. That other enemy ship we're going to trail so far back, I'll, I'll likely never find it, and they'll repair the rudder damage before I can find it. Unfortunately, the battle started at nighttime, basically, although it's 6 o'clock in the morning, so the sun might come up soon. By the looks of it. Do we get its rudder or is it trying to avoid us? Trying to avoid us. All right, light cruisers, go in there and fire some torpedoes. Please. Nope. All right, but we are doing some damage. We are scoring some hits. The era of stormtrooper aim. God damn, that's accurate. Unlike our ships. All right, Henry is dead in the water, so that's good. Torpedo away, didn't hit. All right, enemy ship is hit by a torpedo. Ships in this era really can't survive many torpedo hits. We just got to make sure nothing bad happens to us. Our battleships fired a torpedo and hit it twice. She's dead in the water. Kyle Dulio is hit by a torpedo. Fuck. From what? What did Henry do? Just fire a blind torpedo in the dark? And that's going to sour this battle. Kyo sinks. Oh, that flotation is bad. Uh, you can see 26 rounds fired from its main battery. No hits. Secondary scored some hits. Let's slow down to less than 10 knots. Maybe we can save it. I wasn't even that close. You think it was friendly fire, J Street? I, I think that's possible. But I didn't think anyone was firing opposite of them. So I'm not sure where it came from. I don't think my cruisers were opposite of the battleships. All 
Uh, flotation is flooding is zero. Flotation is bad. Oh God. The battleships are going to run into whatever's out here from the enemy. I think the sun is starting to come up or might be soon. How's Kyo doing? Flotation's not great. I don't know who's shooting at those cruisers, but I'm surprised it doesn't say Henry's sinking yet. It still claims she's making five knots, but she does not seem to be moving. Her own battleship just fired a torpedo at Henry, and it hit. Something's down here. Can her, where's the nearest? I'd have to go back through the enemy lines by the looks of it to reach port, so we're not going to do that. But I feel like our line of sight is getting a little bit better. Come on, guys, finish the bastards off. Go engage that armored cruiser, boys. You can get it. No, don't turn away. All right, let's speed up. This guy's taking a good long while to sink. Oh, there he goes. He's down. All right, we'll see if we run into anything else. Oh, wait, there we go. Unidentified ship. Cruiser division... All right, it should be... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong time. I don't know why over... Well, no, local time versus... Local time is what should matter, right? Okay. I feel like they like pop out of line of sight with me and then we find them like they they just keep drifting and then drift and then when the second we lose sight they turn around and come right back at us why can't i control these guys Are they going to turn around and come right back at me now? Seems like it. All right, boys. Can we just get another enemy ship? It'd be great if we could. Iodulio's flotation doesn't seem to be getting worse. We'll see if we scuttle. That's always the risk in this game is a post-battle scuttling. 
Hey, Tank. Right, let's just turn back for port. I'm not really in the mood for this. Especially with my battleship as damaged as it is. So more than 50% flotation. Which certainly means these guys could sink. Usually, I think if you get back to a port before the battle ends, you won't scuttle, but I don't think the battle will last that long. For us to get to the other side of Sardinia. But who knows? And a battle. Two battleships in Italy are heavily damaged, apparently. We sank the last French battleship, moderately damaged an armored cruiser, and that gives us a victory here. So the enemy has no more battleships. They are building a few, but an Italian minor victory. 1,100 victory points versus 500 for the enemy. So it does close the gap a little bit. Prime Minister consider considering sending out feelers for peace negotiations. We should not cede any land or colonial. We don't really have any land or colonial territory to cede. I don't know why their victory points seem to be ticking up faster than mine. Don't show weakness. So we're not blockaded, so that's good. And the enemy fleet now consists of zero battleships. They are building five. So if they complete those, then they'll have an equivalent battle fleet to our own. But at least for the moment, they're, they're not building. They don't have any in service anyway. All right, let's do this. Let's set these light cruisers out to raid since the enemy has no more battleships. Monthly balance negative of a thousand. It's fine. Does fleet morale help with the war score? I don't know. Enemy raid on coastal shipping. I guess we'll accept. The French decline, we get a thousand victory points. Hell yeah. Except the French decline, we get a thousand more victor points. Uh, I have no forces in the area. I don't think I can fight that. <laughs> no I own forces in the area. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, the army offensive was a failure. Enemy gets a thousand victor points. Uh, the enemy sent out feelers through neutral nations about a negotiated peace without border changes or reparations. I want something. Don't let them get off lightly. Italian raiders are out there sinking French merchantmen, so it looks like this turn friendly merchants lost five, enemy merchants lost 11. So a slight advantage to us there. And monthly balances into the blacks for somehow. I guess our, our budget went up slightly. I'll get these resumed. They're intercepting my light cruiser. What is our... The Clio is being intercepted. She has... She's a bad ship. Eight five inches aren't bad, but she's not a heavy ship. We'll put it that way. 
All right, unknown ship spotted. What are they coming at me with? All right, so light rain, high wind. Presumably that means casemate guns are not open and opened, although I think my guns are not casemates. So it's the Astrazu class. I don't know how to pronounce that. Wow, they only have four inches. Okay, let's fight them. What's their speed? 22 knots. Isn't that mine? Broadside to broadside. Cleo has also been in a lot of battles, so she should be an experienced one. Granted, the French might also be experienced by this point. Those are long ranges for five inches. Let's try and close. Let's pause here for a second. The enemy is making 20 knots. We should be able to close unless they crank up the speed, but but even then, like 22 knots versus 22 knots. Now, they'll be a little bit more accurate with their gunfire moving at less than max speed, but my main objective here is just to close the distance. We have heavy, a heavier weight of armor. They have a slightly better position, I think, where they can get more guns to bear. Ooh, we got a hit there. I saw a little red flash on the enemy's hull. I don't know if it damaged anything, but... All right, the enemy ship is making 20 knots. They fought in one battle before, but the Cleo has fought in... Have we really only fought in one? I swear I've seen it in more than one. I would have thought this would have been one of our elite crews. All right, so the rain stopped. It's now overcast, high wind. Oh, we just took a hit. It hit us in the engine room, too. I don't know that it slowed anything down, but... Don't you dare th fire a torpedo right down my throat, you know? All right, so we are, our max speed is now 18 knots. Are they moving at 20 still? They are. We are claiming medium damage on them. Those reports can be inaccurate, too. I slowed to try and get more accurate gunnery. Another hit there. Hey, Charcoal, how you doing? Get that speed back up to 20 knots. Try and close the distance again. He just wants to run away, the bastard. Let me sink you. Could be a rare chance for a prestigious victory that'll help narrow the gap. I would love to get a little bit of financial compensation from the French in this war. Even though we don't really have many colonies... I, I doubt we'll get one of their colonies, but if we could do something to improve our economy to allow me to afford more ships and a larger navy, that would be great. We're going to burn through all our ammo just trying to do something to them because our tech is so bad that no one can hit the broadside of a barn. Well, we got a hit there, though. I don't believe the report that said medium damage on the enemy. They're doubling back. Our, uh, our aft magazine will be full of shells. Our forward magazine are going to burn through everything.
Come on, you enemy, let me sink you. Let's catch up now and end this. Come on. This is going to be an inconclusive fight, isn't it? All right, let's pause for a second. Medium damage for him. Light damage for us. We're claiming three main gun hits and five secondary gun hits. We've taken 14 light hits. Be nice if they'd take a critical hit, but I don't think that's going to happen. And they are now faster than me, so I can't catch up. It's getting later in the day, so visibility is getting worse. It's almost nightfall. All right. Well, there they go. I'll turn away. That was an inconclusive and pointless fight. I guess it's good that they didn't sink me because I believe they were intercepting me. But a draw. Come on, scientists. Do better. All right. Two friendly merchants sunk for 10. They lost 15 merchant ships. For 75 victory points. So it's possible the, the raiding of enemy merchant uh, traffic could end up becoming a decisive factor. Even though we're behind in victory points, you can cause unrest and other things like that if you keep chewing through the enemy's commerce. We're still about a year away from any new ships coming online, though. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Rule the Waves 3, a new game out by Slytherin and Matrix Games and naval warfare simulations. Uh, we're closing the gap a little bit with the enemy, but we'll see how things play out in our next episode until our next episode. Uh, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.